Hi Screen Junkies, welcome to Entertainment News with me, Michael Bates. This week, King Con comes to Sunland, and I'm hoping to meet with Miltos Yorolmu, who plays Sirio Pharrell in Game of Thrones. Regular watching Thrones fans know that I've got my own theories about Sirio's fate, and hopefully I'll get a chance to ask him later in the show. For now, I'm here at Hadrian's Wall, built 2,000 years ago by the Romans, and stretches east to west across the north of England, just south of the Scottish border, uh, perhaps to prevent raids from marauding ginger Scotsmen. Does this all sound a bit familiar? Well, there's a good reason for that. When George R. R. Martin was asked about his inspiration for the books A Song of Ice and Fire, which was the inspiration for the series Game of Thrones, um, he had this to say. The wall predates anything else. I can trace back the inspiration for that to 1981. I was in England visiting a friend who stopped at Hadrian's Wall. I stood up there and tried to imagine what it was like to be a Roman legionary standing on this wall, looking out over these distant hills. It was a very profound feeling. For the Romans at that time, this was the end of the world. It was the end of civilization. I want to stand on top of the wall and piss off the edge of the world. <laughs> Although the wall itself is only 16 to 20 foot high, in the most popular tourist parts like this, it runs along impressive crags, which are often frequented by climbers. This may have been the inspiration behind the, the section of the books which ultimately became the TV episode, The Climb. Game of Thrones isn't Hadrian's Wall's only claim to fame, Sycamore Gap featured in the Kevin Costner action-adventure Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Much maligned and receiving only a 50% on Rotten Tomatoes, I think this is unwarranted, it was claimed it was too dark and that uh, Kevin Costner should have used a more traditional English accent rather than his natural accent. Personally, I think the dark overtones are much more sort of reminiscent of something we would see today, like Game of Thrones and Braveheart, so perhaps it was even ahead of its time. In regard to the accent, um, modern English accents are nothing like the period accents that uh, would have been around the time of Robin Hood. Um, so any accent he would have used would have been incorrect. And I think for that character, his charisma was the most important part. In this film, you've got Morgan Freeman, Kevin Costner and Alan Rickman all at the height of their powers. And I would say Rickman's performance in particular is comparable to his Hans Gruber from Die Hard. The excellent score and I don't mean the Brian Adams song that was number one for 16 weeks, but uh, Michael Carman's score, which races along at a, you know, a brisk pace. I can still hear those trumpets today. Have I hit it? No. 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 No, 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 no. So here we are, time to meet the actor who played the man, the myth, the legend, Sirio Pharrell. Welcome to King Kong.
Do you think if you were like in the show, would you want to see Sigur from Life towards the end? Oh, of course. How could you not? <laughs> How could you not? It would be amazing, especially if he came back at right at the end of Arya's story. Yeah. Do you think uh, Jack will come back because he just left as well? I don't know. The thing is, is that they can come back as any sh- in any shape or form, can't they? Yeah, exactly. So that's it. Before I go, I'd like to dedicate this episode to Ken Knapsack, who sadly is leaving Screen Junkies this week. He was the heart and soul of watching Thrones, the Screen Junkies after show for Game of Thrones. Um, it was one of my favourite Screen Junkies shows. I used to call in, they used to tweet in all the time. Um, and we sorely missed. Hopefully he'll be back next year, but if not, I'd like to wish him all the best in the future. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Robin Hood Prince of Thieves and what you think of the fate of Sirio Farrell. See you later.